Hi guys, you're watching GT channel and today I'm gonna be talking about my Demon Hunter skill build. So this is my build that I use to farm some legendary items and to level my paragon. So I guess now let's check it out skill by skill. So let's see what do I use for the primary. So for the primary I use the hungry arrow with the skill rune devouring arrow. So most of the time I use this ability against the bosses or other single target mobs. And with the help of this skill rune I deal even more damage with this ability because every time the arrow pierces through the target my damage is increased by 70%. So this is pretty useful skill to use against single target mobs. I don't use this skill rune for this ability because well I don't have that much of critical hit chance. So I have, I have, how much do I have critical hit chance, let's see. Damn it, I need to first change one skill. Let's first change the sharpshooter. Let's switch it to the, to some other skill and now let's check my critical hit chance. So yeah, I have only 35% critical hit chance. So that's why I don't use this spray of thief skill rune. And I use this one instead of this one. But if I will have about 50% critical hit chance, I will choose this skill rune over this one. Because with a lot of critical hit chance, this skill rune will deal more damage. But at the moment I use this one. So now the next ability I use is the multi shot. So this is the main skill that I use against a lot of targets. And the skill rune for this one is fire at will. So this skill rune reduces the cost of hatred by 15. So with the help of this skill rune, I can spam this ability quite a lot of times. I can spam this skill over and over again. Enemies don't even reach me because they just die. This is pretty amazing ability to have in your build. So now let's check the next one and the next one is shadow power. So this is pretty important skill to have too. Well mostly I use this ability when I'm in trouble. Because well, you just pop this skill and you gain 15% of all damage done as life for 5 seconds. So basically you just heal yourself when you deal some damage. And the skill rune that I use for this shadow power is Gloom. So the Gloom reduces incoming damage by 55% while shadow power is active. So it means that I take less damage from the enemies when this skill is active. So now let's see the next skill is Preparation. So preparation instantly restores all discipline. And the skill rune that I use for this ability is backup plan. There is a 30% chance that preparation's cooldown will not be triggered. So that's pretty nice, you can restore all of your discipline with this skill. Just press one button and all of your discipline is back to normal. And as you can see right here, that 30% chance just triggered it. And I can use the preparation again. Here we go, and again, oh my god, this is just amazing. Three times already. And there it goes, there goes the cooldown. So as you can see, this skill rune is just very important to have with the preparation skill. 30% chance that preparation's cooldown will not be triggered. It's very nice skill rune and very nice skill to have. So now the next one is smoke screen. So basically smoke screen is invisibility for 1 second and with this rune you can increase the duration to 1.5 seconds. Well, this is pretty useful skill to have when you are in trouble or when you need to get away pretty fast. You just pop this skill and you just disappear and monsters don't attack you and they don't see you. So the next one gonna be... Well, this is gonna be the last one for the active skills and it is companion. So use companion with the skill rune, bad companion. So this little bat grants me 3 hatred per second. And with the help of this companion, I can spam my multi-shot ability. Because my hatred regenerates pretty fast. So let's see, where is my hatred regeneration? Where is this stat? Let's see, how much do I have? Hatred regeneration. And I don't see it. Damn it, where is it? Yes, there it is. Hatred regenerated per second, 7. So with the help of this little bat I can spam my abilities that cause hatred. And my hatred regenerates pretty fast. Now the only ones left are the passive skills. And the first passive skill that I use is the steady aim. 
So this is just awesome passive skill to have because it increases your damage by 20%. When you are away from the enemy by 10 yards. Well because you are demon hunter, you are always attacking from a distance. So this passive skill is must have for your skill build. The next one is sharpshooter. So with this skill I gain 3% critical hit chance every second. So as you can see, let's check the inventory. I have now 100% critical hit chance. So if I hit a lot of enemies, it's gonna be a crit. And I gonna do a lot of damage. With the help of this passive skill. So it's pretty nice to have it when you have low critical hit chance. But if you have a lot of critical hit chance, you should take some other skill. Like Night Stalker instead of the Sharpshooter ability. So now the last passive skill is Archery that I use in this skill build. So this archery skill gives you a bonus based on the weapon type of your main hand weapon. So if you are using the bow you get 15% increased damage. But if you are using the crossbow you get 50% critical hit damage. And the last one if you are using hand crossbow you get 10% critical hit chance. I'm using the crossbow. Yes I'm using the crossbow so I get... Let's see what do I get. Where is the archery? There it is, so I get plus 50% critical hit damage. So that means I deal more damage with this passive skill. So this is the last skill in my skill build. So as you can see I use the skill build mostly to farm in Act 3 with monster power 0. So I guess this is gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.